What is happening guys? It is me again, the Bladed Brony, coming at you today with a knife unboxing slash review. As you can see, we got a CRKT M16 10Z. It's from the Kit Carson design. As you may know, I actually already I do have an M16 from the Carson design, but it's a little bit larger. It is the M16 14ZSF. You know, I love this knife, but you know, you can probably see one little problem. This knife is a little bit bulky. It's a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. So I wanted to find me a knife that was smaller, but still of good quality. And you know, as much as I like Sheffield knives, I really didn't want to be carrying around a $5 rainbow color knife in my pocket. So, I decided to go to my local gun shop today, and I saw this. As you can see, it was $13.95, and I paid him $43.07. And I know you're thinking, well, what are you thinking, dude? You can get a new one for off Amazon for $22. Well, that is true. In certain knives, I will do that with. But it's good to support your community, okay? That's, you know, really, that's basically my whole lesson right there. It's good to support your community. So, I had no problem buying this knife. <laughs> Actually, fun, you know, fun little joke here. When I was looking at knives, which I do a lot, so I do know it's in there, you know, he's got some Cold Steel, he's got some CRKT, Smith & Wessons, Kershaw's, blah, blah, blah. I saw another CRKT, it was an M21, I don't remember the model number, but, you know, it was a large one like this, you know, black handles, you know, only one flipper, it had the VEF serrations, and I actually had to flip a coin to see if whether I was going to buy that or this. I'm kind of glad this one won out because that was going to be about $54, maybe $60 altogether. So I'm glad I picked this up. And, well, let's not just keep wasting time. Let's get into the box, huh? Well, let's see what's on the back. Uh, product of China, printed in China. That's just the box that you know. Of course, you know, CRKT, M16, 10Z. Same old, same old, nothing really much. Barcode, and I just dropped my knife. <laughs> you know, just a little box, you know, nothing special. So let's get inside this bad boy, see the good stuff. If I can get the thing closed, it's kind of hard to do this one end. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. We got the knife. We got a little bit of literature. Uh, let's see. You know, the safest folders on the planet with the auto lock system. If you're not familiar with the auto lock system, you know. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing this uh, uh Forget it, I'll read it for you. Nothing safer, easy to close. You just pull down the lock, which is the red lever. You know, slide the liner over. And really, that's about it. It's pretty simple to use. Uh, you know, they got their patent. The patent auto lock knife safety automatically engages you when you're when you open your CRKT locking liner folder. You cannot release the locking liner until you pull the auto lock lever back. Printed in China, CRKT. If I can get this thing to focus up, that'd be great. I don't think it's gonna focus, people. All right, there it is. If you want to read that, if you can pause it, you know, there's a little image of the system, how it works. Good to know. And we got one more little thing in here. Put that over there. Right, let's see what this is. Oh, it's a catalog. A little catalog, you know, for their knives, you know, kind of like what... Um, you know, kind of like what Benchmade does, or, you know, what Cold Steel does. So it's pretty cool, you know. Now I got, you know, the little CRKT, you know, catalog. I can take a little look through there. Because I do like the knives, as you can probably guess. Uh, I'm not going to open this whole thing. We're just going to take a little, you know, quick look at this, see what we got here. Uh, of course, we got the liftoffs, the naturals, the Yego. Hmm. Uh, 
you know, I'll, I'm going to take a look at, I'm going to look through this later. You know, it's kind of hard to do this all with one hand. And I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of seeing the camera shake. So, put that over there. Now let's get into the good stuff. Get the pocket knife. As you can see, it's a very small one. Closed, the knife is about, oh lord, let's see what we got here. It's about four inches closed. Opens up real nice. Uh, and it's about seven inches altogether. So, it's small, but it's still good for what it's, it can still be very useful for EDC task. Uh, if needed, you know, this can be used to, you know, deter an attacker. Uh, let's see, we got a three inch blade. Of course, as you can tell, it's a Tonto point. Some of you may know Tonto points are my favorite kind of pointed knife. You know, it's my favorite blade design, I mean. Put that over there. You know, like I said, you can probably guess, you know, I do kind of like Tonto blades. Uh, it's a right hand tip down carry only. You know, you can't reverse it. This is glass filled nylon handle scales. As you can see, you know, you got the eye lock right there. Just a little bit stiff, but I can, you know, fix it. It just needs to be worked in a little bit, you know, maybe a little gun oil. It can be tightened with a flathead screwdriver. Has Torx wrenches. Like I said, you know, tip down, right hand carry only. Which is kind of odd since almost every other CRKT knife is reversible. You know, kind of like this, you know. Tip up, tip down, left, right. As you can tell, this is much, this is definitely a gentleman's folder. You know, it's small enough. You know, I this would be the knife I'd put in my pocket to go to church in. As you can see, you know, it's got, you know, serrations right here, which, eh, are pretty, pretty sharp. The blade, you know, maybe one little, maybe once over the little sharpening stone and put that at a good razor's edge. As you can see, it is a flipper, as I keep, you know, demonstrating. Just put your finger there and, pop, out comes the blade. It feels like a spring-assisted knife, but, you know, without the spring, which is good for me, you know. It's got little thumb studs, which are more used to, as a little stopper. It's got some very good jimping. Actually, that is, that is quite good jimping. I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, let's see. It is an AUS 8 CR15 MOV high carbon steel. It's made in Taiwan. And it is 3.2 ounces. So... You know, small enough, you know, so you ain't going to feel it, but big enough, you know, to do the job. Uh, and from what I see so far, I do kind of like the knife. You know, I, I, you know, like I said, I do like these, you know, Carson designs, which, you know, rest in peace, Kit Carson. As you may have heard, Kit Carson passed on not too long ago. But, you know, I always, I really do like the, you know, M6, the Carson designs. You know, I think they're really good design knives. As you can, this was actually used by Marines. You know, this is used by soldiers in southern Afghanistan. So, you know, they get the best of the best. And that is a heavy knife. And as you can tell, this is, this is nothing compared to that. You know, at least in weight. So, I'm going to carry this around for a couple of days. You know, use it. And, you know, tell you guys what I think about it after some work. Alright, guys. That's about all I got for you, so this has been the Bladed Brony signing off. Have a good day.